In the previous movie we have installed uh, VMware Workstation and now we have already installed Linux Mint KDE. We've installed everything and now we're going to start it for the first time and this is a nice button to do it or that one and then you can wait and see what happens. So he's going to look around and see he's inside the VMware machine and he's going to install the correct items, drivers, etc. He's also finding that he has a hard disk, CD-ROM, DVD, a network adapter, printer, etc. etc. So these are all the hardware components he's trying to find drivers for. It's January 2016, Linux Mint KDE has come out and I wanted to see how it what it looked like without installing it on a hard disk, on a hard disk or SSD. So I'm doing it now in a VMware machine so I can look at it and then delete it eventually if I don't want it. So here we have this little button, ah oh yeah, previously what you didn't see, let's use this button here. I've already uh, changed something and that is the display. I have made it bigger. So display configuration was I think well anyway smaller eh? any of these things it used to be that so you go to here and you set it to the resolution your screen is best on all right though so this is the Linux Mint you see there are a lot of programs and menus you can go into and um, the Dolphin is a file manager. We have already some updates to do. The sound that is or CD or virtual ISO that's inside of it. Network hidden, hidden icons. We should click it then. Notification, the clock, so you know when it's made, and the panel toolbox, which is this one to add some widgets inside of it as you can see but that's all KDE my point is um, of the point of the movie was how to install it and show you guys how you do it and now it's up to you to look at the operating system and see if you like it or not there are a lot of specific KDE programs you can see it in the K K snapshot ocular so all the programs that have a K inside there's a good chance that it's coming from the KDE environment so aggregator KDE yeah. K mail etc etc K torrents so there are of course of all these applications there are GNOME variants or alternatives and you can check them out all right this concludes our movie and um, well have fun with it that's uh, always the reason why we are working with Linux